van 47 55 zal vertrekken van spoor 4 in plaats van spoor 18. Besides working as a violinist, Jessie is also the Benelux representative for Florian Leonhardt Fine Violins. We regularly travel to London to pick up instruments for our clients here. Join us on this trip as we go to select some very special instruments for our upcoming instrument days. Hey guys, we just arrived in London um, and now we're going to head on over to Florian Leonhard Fine Violins to pick out some instruments. So uh, we've made it up the little hill, which doesn't seem so big, but it always gets me. Um, we are here at Florian Leonhard, and we're gonna go in and see what we have. After several hours of traveling on trains, subways, and of course a bunch of walking, nothing beats sitting down with a nice cup of coffee and catching up with our good friends at Florian Leonard's. Although it's quite hard not wanting to dive right into the beautiful collection of instruments laid out for us. So we're here at the Florian shop. Um, we are doing some work on some of the instruments that will travel over to Belgium this week um, and that will be there for the end of March for instrument days. Uh, usually when I come here and I look for instruments for clients and musicians, I, um, I play on the instruments myself and make sure that they're adjusted properly. Um, which we're actually doing right now with uh, uh, Niccolo Galliano that will be in Belgium. Um, it needs a little bit of work on the lower side, on the G and D string, um, but it's now being adjusted upstairs and we will continue to work until it's ready to go. Jesse also takes advantage of being in London to work on a client's bow, together with Lowry, the shop's bow specialist. Yeah. 
Shane did that. It's still a it's little still shaky, there. but it's not like annoying now. If that makes sense. Yeah. While Lowry keeps working on the bow, we go next door in Florian's personal office. So what are we doing now? Not a violist. <laughs> So why are you playing viola? <laughs> We're uh, searching for some violas for instrument days. Very nicely made. Yeah. I mean, if this was Italian, it would cost a million. It's the crazy thing. This is very old. Yeah. George Klotz. It's it's like from 1750s or something. <laughs> 1755. Yeah, it says on the label. It's actually good label. And it's so old. It's great condition, perfect size. If this came from Venice, no difference. Yeah. No difference on nothing. Cost more than a million. It's the crazy thing. We're uh, back at St. Pancras now after a really busy time at the shop. Um, we have some really beautiful instruments that we're bringing back to Belgium. Uh, we have a beautiful Niccolo Galliano, a Tononi, um, and a Roca uh, that I can already tell you. <laughs> um, but we will have a whole big load of other beautiful instruments uh, at Violas, the end of March. Violas, cellos, cellos bows. Um, so definitely come give us a visit in Antwerp on March 30th and 31st. It will be worth it. Um, and Florian will also be there, uh, so you can talk to him and um, hear from an expert. Yeah. yeah. I also took the opportunity to uh, interview Florian while we were at the shop, and uh, that interview will be uploaded very shortly. So. Look out for that on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, like this video, subscribe to our updates, and uh, never miss another update from Boho Strings.